Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. It's a great day to be alive and uh, a little cloudy, a little overcast. I'm learning that it's all, these are the, probably the best days for doing these videos. You don't really get all the glare and reflection. Well, we're here at, at the end of our uh, raised garden here, the one that's 18 by 30, our first section. And uh, these are the pepper plants that I have here. I think I have one, two, three, four... Eight, eight plants long and then three three rows deep so we have like 24 plants I decided this year to grow a lot of peppers because uh, first of all we freeze our uh, peppers we love uh, stuffing them with rice and beans and then I have an electric cooker that's 12 foot by or 12 inches by 16 inches and I, I can fit about um, 12 uh, peppers in them at one time and then steam them in this electric cooker and so it only takes about 45 minutes at the most to do these and then we also I wrap them in foil and freeze them for the winter uh, but we just love our green peppers well what I want to show you today is how you can save so much money in just planting your own pepper plants as you know we did the earlier video on potatoes the, the great savings there and growing your own fruits and vegetables well what I did is I in the in the uh, spring I went to raise nursery uh, in Telford, and I bought, that's where I buy a lot of my transplants. Are very healthy, very nice and kind people there. But I bought uh, six pepper plants. They're dollar sixty for six of them. That's it, dollar sixty. And so what I just want to show you today on this film is how much or how many peppers these six little plants can produce. And keep in mind these. Peppers have already produced uh, for the last month and two more months to, to come. But I just wanted to take give you a quick glimpse uh, and see uh, just how much these six pepper plants will produce. Uh, I already picked the, the, these peppers from one plant right here. And this is almost four pounds of peppers just from that. Look at the size of those. They're beauties. Now... That reminds me too, locally again in the supermarket, they had a package of two organic peppers. And they were $6.99 for one pack of peppers. Now you may be able to get them a little cheaper somewhere else, but nevertheless it just gives you the, uh, an idea how expensive they are in the supermarket and how much cheaper and affordable it is for us to grow them in our backyard gardens. You know, you could have just a 4x8 raised planter uh, garden bed that I, like I did for my daughter Julie. And she had a couple peppers there and a couple tomato plants and some Swiss chard. And you remember her um, her sun gold tomato plant that I talked about, you know, about jungle. You know, how it just really grew on its own. And so, but even with that little garden bed she had, she was able to produce more than enough tomatoes and peppers for her family. And so, uh, why don't we take a walk over here and I still have a few more plants that I want to pick from just to show you again just how many peppers six plants can produce so we have one two three four five six so I'm going to just pick some peppers from this plant here I mean the pepper crop this year has just been wonderful you got to kind of twist them a little bit so you don't break the whole plant just the, the brilliant, the green is a beautiful color. Let me put these down. And these are, you can just tell the weight of them. They're nice thick skin. And that's all as a result of having some good fertilizer and good compost. We, I use a lot of compost. In fact, that's all I use in my raised planter beds is compost, leaf compost amended with uh, topsoil. That, and I use the leaf compost because a lot of your horse manures and your mushroom soils, they have um, herbicides in them, you know, and uh, they can, which can ultimately be harmful to your plants. So with just the leaves uh, as a leaf mulch and topsoil, it really works well for me. Uh, so we have a few more plants or peppers to pick here from this one plant, and then we'll move on. It seems as though I'm going to be stuffing a lot of peppers. We're giving some more of these out to people. It seems like that's all I've been doing lately is giving these, giving out the fruits and the vegetables to people. So let's see, we have, uh, here's another pepper here. 
that we can get. It's ready to pick. And of course, there's more to come here, hanging. Sometimes it's hard to see them. They're kind of hiding. You know, like little treasures, nuggets of gold here hiding. In fact, I think it was my daughter Julie who made a, one of those, her homemade pizzas last night using the peppers and tomatoes from our garden. So I think we have one more plant to go. Oops, not there's, yeah, we'll leave that one there. Well, here's a big one down here. They just, they, they, they're hard to find sometimes. Let's just see what one pepper weighs. Almost half a pound. Let's try this one. 7.5 ounces. Let's try this one. Come around here if you want to take a look at that. There's 6.8 on that one. So you have half a pound almost just in one pepper. And so it, this gives you an idea on uh, how much uh, six pepper plants will produce. Uh, again, I, even if you only wanted two, you can surely see that uh, the benefits of having just two plants and how it will feed your family. Again, uh, we're all about trying to save money and helping you as well save money on your budget. Things are so expensive today. And so, yeah, we took peppers from each plant. I left some of the smaller ones there. Uh, it is a humid day out here today. Uh, the humid so th uh, humidity is so thick you could cut it with a knife, it feels like. But anyhow, it's always fun to be out in the garden. And You know, I've been gardening for over 25 years and as a self-employed contractor for 40 years. And so it's always, I always enjoy sharing my knowledge with people. I have always said I have all this knowledge and experience bottled up. It is nice to be able to share it with my viewers. And so uh, let me encourage you to maybe think about growing a garden for yourself maybe next spring or even come this fall. You know, we have cold crops that we can plant. We have the, the kale and the curly leaf kale. And, the, of course, by the way, the kale turns nice and sweet once the frost hits it. And then you have the cabbage or the cauliflower. Uh, broccoli, we're going to be planting a lot of broccoli, some under the Lean-To Greenhouse. Uh, there, if you've watched that video, the, uh, the Lean-To Greenhouse, that's always a, an educational a video to watch. So anyhow, I uh, want to thank you for, for joining me today here in our, our backyard garden. Uh, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.